<laughs> Hi everybody, it's Miss Debbie from It's Art Time. How's everybody doing? Just let me know when you pop on. We're going to be painting this beautiful pink church today. So, I, I can't tell if anybody's on yet. I'm going to watch... I'm gonna watch us on our po on our um, my tablet and see if anybody's popping on yet. Hi, Trisha. How are you? Thanks for not leaving me alone. <laughs> Hi, Linda. And do I have that funny echo like I did before? I was doing it on my tablet. And I'm doing it on my phone now. Hi, Linda. How are you? Hi, Deb. <laughs> Good morning. Or is it afternoon where you're at? Hi, everybody. We're gonna be painting this beautiful painting today. I am not at home, I'm at my studio. We've got a camp going on, so the kids are in the other room. So if it gets loud, Mr. Steve's coming with a pizza. That's what it is. So I'm just kind of waiting to pop on here so I can see if we're upside down or not when I go to post. Do you guys love this cute little pink church? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. And I wanted to show you how I did the tracer. Now on mine, I didn't add the snow. I added the snow for, for all of you. Um, I'm gonna paint it plain and then put the snow on top. Thank you for the hearts. Um, so we are gonna get started. Um, I want to pull this down because you guys don't need to see me. Um, it's too hard to paint this type of painting upside down. The kids ones I can do, but not the adults. Um, Let's see. I don't I don't see me in the group yet. Can you Deb am I am I live in the group? Can you let me know send up some hearts? I know there's a delay. I'm not seeing it. I'm so excited to do this painting, you guys. This is a painting I do in regular Christmas colors, but um I thought it'd be perfect in pink. Hi! Okay, you guys can see me? Okay, I'm gonna turn this down, but I, I don't wanna turn it down because I don't know if it's upside down until I can see myself in the group. Maybe I'll go out and come back in. Sometimes that helps. And then if I see, it, oh! There's my goofy face! Okay, I'm gonna try and turn this down, and then I'm gonna turn it around so you guys are straight up and down. Let me see if I can. There. Can you see the painting? Or is that too close? Let me see. Oh no, I think that's all on there. I can't really push the thing back anymore or it will fall off. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, it is upside down. All right, I'm gonna try and paint it upside down for you guys then. There we go. Okay, so let's get started. I've got, I'm using apple barrel paint. I'm gonna start with some pewter gray. Um, I want it kind of wide because I'm gonna be using a chip brush to do the trees. Um, I'm gonna use um, bright red magenta. This is such a pretty painting. I love this painting. Am I allowed to like my own paintings? Okay, and then we're using Pink Parfait. We are using a metallic silver, which makes it look so pretty. That's what's gonna divide your background and give it a nice shimmer. And then we're gonna use white, of course. Gotta have some white snow. And then what's really pretty, and it doesn't show in the camera, is I'm using this pretty light pink um, glitter, but you can use iridescent. It, it looks just like iridescent. You can't really see that it's pink, but I'm gonna take a one inch brush, get it wet, wipe both sides. And we're gonna start with the gray at the top. And I'm just gonna do X strokes. Okay, I'm gonna do X strokes at the top and I'm gonna go down about, oh, maybe two and a half inches. 
And I'm doing the gray. I'm not used to tracers, you guys, so I apologize for it to taking so long. I always do the original first. I'm gonna go down a little bit on the sides with the gray. And whenever I touch the edge, I like to paint my sides just so it looks pretty and finished when it's hanging on the wall. Oh my goodness, I can hear my employee teaching my kids. They're painting a fox right now. Okay, so I'm gonna do this painting wet on wet. So that's the only reason I'm going kind of fast because I like to blend my silver with my gray and pink. So next, I'm using the same brush. I'm gonna dip it in the, in the dark pink. And then I'm gonna start going down all those places where the, you know, where it was on the tracer and kind of X stroke it into my gray. Okay, go in between. And the messier it is, the kind of prettier it is. And I'm just gonna go down, make sure I'm in between those trees for later. So we don't have, you know, canvas showing and just kind of enjoy it, like just pop it on there. And I wanna apologize in advance, I never use a blow dryer when I'm live, but because I'm doing a wet on wet painting, which just means wet paint on wet paint, um, I'm gonna to have to use a blow dryer because it'll be way too wet for me to paint the church. Okay. So let's see, I'm still blending, kind of just pulling that wet gray into the pink and then having a nice solid dark pink in between. Isn't that pretty? I know it looks really messy, but that's the beauty of it. It makes this painting simple to teach and it's really pretty. I've gotten so many compliments on this. I've gotten invited to different groups. Okay, let's see. Let's wash the brush. I want it washed because I'm going to um, grab some of that silver. And I'm going to go in between where the gray and the pink is and just kind of, it's wet on wet, so it's going to pull the other colors. Isn't that pretty? Uh oh, you guys, I forgot to turn off my sound. Ugh. I think the only time I really go live anymore is with you guys. So bad. I'm so, I get so nervous. Okay. Isn't that pretty? See that? Pr I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but it kind of, it looks messy, but it's supposed to. Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See how it pulls the gray into the pink with the silver and then the pink into the gray? And then I want kind of some, a little bit, oh, I got a little white feather. Oh, that's awesome. So I want to dedicate this painting to my BBBFF. And that sounds, that, that stands for my best beach bud forever. She is a breast cancer survivor, praise God. And um, this is for her. Pink is her favorite color, and that works. She's got my Dollywood painting, um, guitar painting hanging in her um, music room. So this is perfect. Okay, so does that look like the same sky? I don't know if you can see the shimmer in there, you guys, but it's there. It's in the background. And it's it's nice because the, the shiny is what's going to... Um, I don't know if I can say differentiate. <laughs> it'll be, um, it'll make this gray stand out against the gray. I just wanted to make a pretty painting with few colors. Okay, now we're gonna take our chip brush and it's gonna get really messy. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna look at this one. Upside, I'm painting this upside down, guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my chip brush. I'm gonna dip it in the gray kind of wipe it because it holds a lot of paint and see how sloppy that is that's perfect I think I'm gonna start up here and I'm just gonna pounce back and forth 
pounce back and forth. And I'm kind of going in the direction that it grows. It's okay if it gets a little on the church. No worries. We're going to fix all of that later. This is a lot of paint, guys. You don't want to avoid the church. And this is kind of the, the part where I love it because see how hairy it is? That's perfect for your trees. Don't be afraid. This is, a, this is an easy, easy painting to teach. I think the hardest part is the church. But um, this part is just fun and easy. Yes, I'm going, I'm going to go like that against my lines. Just so I don't really go that much into it. Okay. I'm going to kind of do that with my roof too. And then you're just going to keep... Um, you want to dip and then offload your brush. And it's hard to get your tips at the top, but that's okay. Just keep going back and forth. Deb, we don't have to... It, it's not an hour on this one, right? On the... Or do we have to... Um, I don't think it'll take me an hour, but it might. I know it won't take me longer. You guys probably can't see the the real difference on camera, maybe. See, and this is gonna be our big, beautiful Christmas tree with this with the snow on it. So we're gonna go back and forth like this, like the way that the tree grows. And you're not going to see it as much with the gray as you will once the white goes on. When I'm blow drying this, I'm going to read your comments. Right now, I can't really see them. Okay, now I want this tr tree to be in the front, so I'm going to go ahead and stop on that one for a minute and start doing this one. Are you guys having fun today? Oh my goodness, I double booked myself. I didn't double book this. I booked this first. But I had whenever moms call me um, for intercession camp, I always say yes and I never looked at my <laughs> I never looked at my camera. Is this all the way on there? I hope so. It's gonna be a challenge to paint my little church upside down. Okay. So now I'm going to finish the bottom of this one. And if you accidentally get a little silver in there, that's okay. Remember we're doing wet on wet. And as soon as I need to dry it, um, I will. Oh, I forgot this little tree that's in front of our church. Let's get that guy. So, does it seem a little difficult so far? Okay. So, I'm just going to put my chip brush in the water. I'm going to grab my one inch brush again. And I'm going to just fill my brush a little bit with white because I want to take advantage of where that gray is with the snow. So I'm just going to pull it through because look at those beautiful grays. Those are gonna help me. Look how it's shading the snow for me. It's doing all of the work. And then I'm just gonna go along that edge. Now after I paint the church, I'll be adding snow in front of it. But I just didn't wanna let that beautiful gray go. Yeah, I probably should be looking at the original, but when you're doing wet on wet, you do want it to stay. You want to take advantage of all that beautiful wet paint. And I'm just literally dipping in my white paint and letting the, the um, wet paint do all that work for me. And let's see. This one has quite a bit of gray in the path and in here where the sh shadows are. So I will just go ahead. I think I'm going to grab my pointy brush. It's so weird painting upside down, you guys. 
but it's probably easier for you to see it not upside down. So I'm mixing some, a little bit of gray and white because I want to like just squish some wet paint in there. Oops, I accidentally grabbed the silver, that's okay. And kind of just smush some gray in there. It, I, I used to be an oil painter, so it, I had to get used to how do you paint wet on wet with acrylics? Well, that's, that's um, the answer to that is just paint quick and loose. That's a little gray, but that's okay, because we're going to just back and forth the shadows. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, we're on a busy street, so if you hear a truck every once in a while, I apologize. Okay, so I want this to kind of be a little... I've got all kinds of colors on my brush. A little bit darker because it's the path from the front of the church. Since we're doing this, whenever I touch the side of the canvas, I always take it over. But for the sake of the video, I can do that later. You guys don't have to be bored with me while painting the edges. <laughs> Look at all that coverage. Let me tell you, these trees are wet. So I'm just going to keep on like smushing a little bit of white in here because I... I want it to look like snow, but I want it to look lower and like a, a well-beaten path to the church. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, let's see. I'm going to kind of put some gray in here. You know, because this is where they would have shoveled. If you've ever lived in the snow, you know all about shoveling. I'm just going to keep adding a little white, a little white here, and then in your painting, as well as mine, I'm going to put a little path right here, where somebody's been walking. So in your painting, are they walking from church or to church? That's going to be just the tip, just the tip of your brush, like that. And we're gonna make those little footprints small. And then, that may, I may be a little too wet right now, but we'll just do a little bit bigger. So in your church picture painting, are, are your footprints going from the church? Or to the church. And I think I got a little dark streak that goes right there. I got to be careful because I just put it on the tip. When you're doing these kind of strokes, you kind of want a lot of paint on there. Okay. So, you guys, here's the part that sometimes is annoying to me because it bothers my ears. But I need to blow dry. How's that looking so far? Can you believe that is going to become that? It will, I promise. We're layering. Oh, I wonder if I can see comments. I can't. Okay, darn. Oh my goodness, we've got 51 comments already. So, okay, I'm going to um I'm going to use a blow dryer, just a regular hair dryer. I'm going to start blow drying, but I'm going to turn this up to see if I can see your comments. Okay, it's pretty wet. Hi guys, <laughs> how are you? Let's see. Hi Julie, Anna and Julie, my roomies. How are you? Oh my gosh, can you believe it's been a year since we were in Dollywood? Oh my gosh, look at my forehead, it looks humongous. Oh well, it's the angle of the camera. Um, I'm gonna turn this on, so if this sound bothers you, just turn your volume down and when, it, when um. When I go like this, you can turn it back on, okay? I'm just gonna blow dry and read your comments. I'm gonna try. Okay, here it comes. It's really wet. Good hi. 
has to be dry. <laughs> How are you? I miss you too. I miss both of you. We can even get in our little, we get a little private group. All of us are so busy, but I do like seeing um, you guys online and all the stuff you're doing. Oh my goodness. This is soaking wet, you guys. So yours is really, really hot. It's actually it's supposed to be. I wonder if there's a way Deb can turn down the sound. I don't, I don't want any of this painting wet, so, because when we do the snow, it'll just muddy it up. So we want to make sure to completely dry your trees, so when we put on the white, on the snow, it'll be pure white, okay? Here I go again, it's not all the way dry. A little bit more. I'm going to turn it on high so it'll be faster, so turn down the volume. should do it all right so let's see if we can get this going down again <laughs> I love you guys thanks for being here let me see Anna bird miss Debbie hugs hugs to you too I love you guys okay let me turn this down and we're gonna get this show on the road here we go can you see it? Let me see. Nope, not yet. How is that? I'm gonna wait. I know there's a delay. Okay, perfect. So, we're gonna take our white Right, and our chip brush. Now, my chip brush is soaking wet, so I really need to dry it. You don't want it wet, you don't want it soggy. It's still gonna be messy, right? That's what you want. Watch this, this is the funnest part. This is gonna be hard for me to do upside down, but I'm gonna give it a good old American try. So I'm gonna start with the back trees first. And I'm just gonna dip my brush in the white. Kind of offload just a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that because it's white on white. But I'm gonna offload a little bit. I'm gonna start with this tree. And I'm very careful with the white going in on the tips because it tends to um, go in wonky. And you don't want it too solid because you want this to be the star of the show and you kind of just tap and you want to go the direction of how your tree grows. Okay, how's that? That looks kind of pretty and it is as simple as that. The only place you really need to be careful is your tips because see how wide your brush is and so you want to just use your tip and go like this and remember to go the way the tree grows you are going to get some on your church so I'm just going to go a little ways in and you don't want it really thick here because you want this to be the star of the show okay next tall one 
to your tips and then go back and forth. Be careful around the top of your church. I know here you can tell I still have gray here, which will help pop your church. So I'm not going to go too close to it. Oops, that might be a little close. Here, all you have to do when you fix a mistake is literally a paintbrush with water. That's all you need. So there we go. No worries. Okay. Next one is this little dude right here. Can you tell I live at the beach? Little dude right here. Right here. Watch your tip. See, sometimes you get wonky patterns, but that's okay. I think it's lovely. So there's my, that tree next is this one. And I want to kind of, I want to make sure that I can still see this one. So I'm going to carefully get my paint off load. I do like it with a lot more snow at the top. So I'll add that in later. And I'm just going to go down about right there because this guy. Do you guys like this? I don't want too much gray to show underneath, but I do want gray to show underneath. I just kind of like to go back in. Okay, here's the side of this one. And we'll come in if we need to put more after we've done the church. I kind of not want to offload too much on this one. Okay, and then that's it, ladies. What do you think? Maybe put some more down here. You can play with it and go back and forth and make it yours. Okay, now for the pretty tree. I <laughs> love this one. Now this one, you still want to be careful at the top, but you don't need to really offload it as much. I'm, I kind of like the way the, there we go. I like the way if you push this part down, it gives you the, um, these out motions on the sides of your tree. And I'm so glad I put the gray in because we're going to come in and we're going to do the bottom. And remember, you want to do your tree the way that it naturally grows. So you're going to do your brush this way. Now, I'm going to leave some gray showing by the church. But I'm going to have some white going into the snow. Oh, I don't want it too solid. That's a little solid. It's the same way on my original. I must have gone crazy. It's a little different upside down, but that's okay. What do you think? I want some more outcroppings. There we go. So there is our trees. Now you guys, I need to blow dry again. Oh, I do want this to be a little more outcropped. I'm gonna look at my brush. I think this is the fluffier side. Let's see. Going into the snow. I like that, the way that looks. Oh, that's a little wet. Oh well. Okay, all that's gonna do is make it harder for me to blow dry. I've gotta blow dry again at least this section here. So it doesn't, well, I think I can wait. Okay, you guys, this is the funnest part. This, the, well, actually the splatter painting and glitter is the funnest part. But I'm going to start on the church. I know there's holes and stuff here where the snow is, but I'm going to go ahead and paint things solid and then add the snow, okay? So you guys do it. I went ahead and did the, um, let me show you. I went ahead and did the tracer so it would be easier. Um with the white snow already on but I'm gonna go ahead and paint the church and then add the snow just because I paint in layers and it's easier for me um, but you guys you can have both options you do it however you want 
and I'm going to dip into the, what is it called? Bright Magenta. I use Apple Barrel Paints because I paint with kids and it's just easy access and um, it's a good price. So I'm just going to trace my roof line. Trace my roof line. Oh, I think my my students are in there painting their fox, so they must be doing the leaves because I'm hearing a little finger painting going on. Okay, so there's that roof line, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the steeple. I'm going to make it a little higher because I don't actually know where my drawing stopped. And fill it in and look how that beautiful gray just you know underneath it just adds to your shading I know a lot of people kind of you know when you have um, customers painting they freak out about things being out of the line it's like this isn't that kind of painting it's gonna be really pretty so there's your steeple now the roof over your um, walkway is the same color So I'm just using the tip of my, this is a kid's brush, but that's okay. You can use um, a detail brush if you want. I might switch to a detail brush. I, I grabbed one just in case. But as long as I have a good one, I'm okay. Oops, I just went out. I just went out of the line. Oh well. It's okay. So because of that, I'm just gonna grab plain water and just take it off. Magic. Okay, fixed. Can you guys see the church? Okay, good. All right, so next, I think I'm gonna grab my gray. I need a little more gray because my silver's in it. I am going to go ahead and use that. It's not really a liner brush, but it's not really a pointer either. But let's just paint. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill in or outline. And I'm not going to completely fill in the church windows because I want them to reflect the snow. So I'll go outline and then just kind of whip a couple spots inside. And then just trace. And if you'll notice, these aren't perfect. They're not perfect. But they don't have to be. Oops, that one is a little wonky. That's okay. You can fix anything when it's dry with the, with the uh, light pink. Isn't this so pretty? I love church. I'm already thinking about, you guys, I have... So I was sick for like four straight days. I didn't get out of bed. So I've been working like a fiend trying to catch up. But the whole time, all I could do is think of paintings. What am I gonna paint? What am I gonna paint? Ooh, I wanna paint this. And that's where this was born. And I'm also doing a painted prayer, which is so nice that Deb asked me. I feel very honored. And I was doing a painted prayer as a gift for somebody. And I thought, oh my goodness, that would be perfect in pink. So hopefully you'll love the other one as much as you love this one. I'm painting it as a gift for a friend of mine. So I think she'll love it. Okay, now this, I'm gonna go ahead and drop in some gray shadows. And the way I do that is I just get my brush wet, I grab some acrylics, and then I'm going to hopefully not put my finger in the paint, it's upside down. I'm going to go ahead, I want a gray shadow here and here. I'm going to just do it a little bit at a time. I'm going to clean my brush and just have a wet brush and pull that shadow out. So it's kind of like a wash. Now it's a little too wet, but... And then that way when I go to put the pink on, I may put it back a little bit. 
But this isn't, this isn't about perfection. None of us are perfect, right? Except for Jesus. I love that he didn't put that pressure on us. Okay, so get it wet again. Oh my stars, this might be the first adult painting I've ever painted upside down. Okay. And do you guys do this? What I do is like, if somebody misses something, I'm always like, you forgot this or you forgot that. I don't want to do that, you know. Um, I don't want to say that to the artist, but um, I do that mentally. I'm like, oh, I hope she gets that. You know, you your cheerlead, your fellow artist. Okay, so I'm kind of just shot, draw, doing drop shadows with a wet brush. And if it gets covered up with the pink, we'll throw it in again. Da -da -da. But I really kind of want that gray to be pretty gray because we're going to have snow on that. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit of this pink, the dark pink, the magenta, and white. This is going to be the trim color. Let me see. Am I close? Oh, maybe a little more pink. I'm trying to get it as close as I can, guys. So, I took a little of the magenta and white, and I mixed this color. So you can see it's darker than that. But lighter than that. I want a point, so I need to pull some of that off. And I'm just going to paint the trim. You probably won't see a lot of this. Oh, I felt my hand hit that. Oh, well. I don't think that's light enough. I'm adding white because I don't think that's light enough, but that's okay. Just don't, you don't have to worry about it being perfect. When it's done, it's going to be lovely. The thing about snow is it's, you know, if you, if there's a line you don't like or um, something's not straight enough to you, um, just cover it in snow. It's wonderful. Is my snow starting to dry here? I'm just, I'm trying to balance in the air without sticking my paint, my hand in the paint. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I hear my um my little campers are questioning my employee. How old are you? What school do you go to? Oh, you're in school? <laughs> She's like, I'm in college. Okay. So I think I might want to just add a little, you know, pounce some little darker pink like that in there, maybe a little under the windows, just kind of play with it a little bit. This is your painting. Do it how you want. And let's see, I believe the inside door jams are this color as well. So I've had this in my studio the last few days and the moms have gone crazy. When are you painting that? When are you painting that? Are you gonna do that? And then I show them what I am doing next. Okay, sign me up for that. And I'm like, oh yay, cause it's the sleighs. They love the sleighs. Okay, let's see. I think I had one going across here too. I'm gonna clean my brush. Now this bubblegum pink, it's a really pretty pink, but it's too, it's too bubblegummy. So I'm going to grab some of that, mix it with my white, and get a pretty light pink. I'm all over the place, guys, sorry. And then, that's a little thick. I'm going to go ahead and start filling in here around my windows and you guys 
guys can probably come up with the, you know, whatever is unique to you. Oh, look at that. I missed that part. That needs to be gray in there. I would have never caught that had I not been doing this. Okay, I think I want a little pinker. That might be a little light. Okay, so I'm going to start just filling in. I don't want to get rid of that beautiful shading that we did, but I do want to straighten up some of these lines. And when you go over things that are a little bit wonky, you still see the wonkiness underneath. It just looks like shadows. It's lovely. I always tell the kids there's no mistakes in art. It just adds to it. I back and forth things a lot. I don't know if you guys do that, but I I sure do. Okay, I'm gonna, I think too, doing it upside down, I'm not catching everything. So at this point, I'm just kind of filling things in like a coloring book. I'm gonna go in and line everything with my gray too. Oh, I missed that with my dark pink. The kids are asking about me. Is she still online? <laughs> yes. Okay. So there's that. I'm going to go back to my light pink. I'm not even cleaning my brush, you guys. It just, see that? There's little darker places. It just adds to the character and the charm of this cute little pink church. See, you guys, I'm telling you the, the church part is actually the hardest part. And it's not even that hard. Just trace it and go fill in the lines like a coloring book and you have got it made. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the gray. This is where your shadows are. Now that we've got the color on there, um, let's give it some depth. Do you like it, you guys? Is it cute? Oh, too watery. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna do a little finger painting and the kind of, oh, I guess the water's in paint, okay. So I'm just gonna start lining things a little bit. Okay, my tree's almost dry. What do I need to line? This. Oh, I hear my husband. It's Pizza Friday at the studio. So my kids get pizza on Friday. Hi, honey. How are you? So where do you want the In the kitchen. The kids are all in there. Mr. Steve, you hear the kids? It's Pizza Friday. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the top of the roof um, putting the gray shadows because it is going to have snow. But I do want to have a pretty line here. I must have had a skinnier brush when I did this before, but it's okay. And then I want it to look like wood, so I'm just going to do little imperfect squiggly lines for the church doors. Outline this. this. Now I'm going to go ahead and put that gray back in there so that we have some, you know, a little bit of background. It's okay to have a little white because it'll look like snow, but I do want it to stand out. Oh, I went too low. That's okay. We'll just add snow. Just remember that. Just hear my voice going, ah, I'm just going to add snow. <laughs> or when you're teaching this, if you, if you end up teaching this, just tell them, oh, that's okay. Just add snow. Okay, so we are to that part. Oh, no, I've got to do the steps. My babies, 
put in their um, yelling cheese and pepperoni. I don't know if I'm doing these stair steps right because everything is backwards to me. So this is going up, cross, down. Well, I guess we'll fake them in and just put snow. Wait, that shouldn't be there. And then I'll do that so that, um, that should be pink. Okay, I got this. I'll just make that pink. I'll have a little gray shadow on it. Okay. So let's go ahead. I'm going to mix some light gray. Just kind of put, put it across the stairs. So that when we put snow on it. Oh, I'm excited. So this is what it looks like before you add snow. Isn't that so cute? And I think I want to put some little bit of highlights on the steeple in pink and just throw them anywhere, like here. And then maybe here. I think I want to add a little bit of darks here. Not too much, just tippies. And then we've got the little gray windows and the steeple. Oh my goodness, do you know what I miss from my childhood, you guys? Is um, knowing it was Sunday morning because before I opened my eyes, I could hear the, the church bells ring. And I would be smiling in my heart and I remember in my head thinking, it's Sunday. I can hear the chapel bells ringing. Okay, I'm gonna grab the white. Oh, what a what a different time we lived in. Oh my gosh, where you could just call people with the church bells, call the neighborhood kids and the families. It's Sunday. Church is about to start. The bells are ringing, and you know that had to be comforting for believers and non-believers alike. I'm just kind of whipping some shine in there. Um, I don't think I have it anywhere else. Okay, so I'm going to start adding this snow in here. I'm going to kind of put this here. Can you see both? Just so I can see where the um, snow goes. Because it's upside down. It's kind of throwing my perspective a little bit. Oh. I see where I forgot some gray too. And that's just this little pencil division right here. I don't want it. I don't like it when you can see a pencil on your painting. Do you? I know I don't. Okay. So let's grab some white. You want it pure white because we're going to do some snow. And I think on yours. There's like this nice patch of church that's not got snow on it. And so we're going to just wiggle this out and put it on kind of thick because this is snow. So this can be wiggly. And then it's not here because the steeple would be blocking that, right? And then there's a little snow here. I'm gonna just put it kind of thick here and have it run down here. And then once you have that, then you can fill it in. Just stay away from the, stay away from the pieces that are pink, that are poking through. Isn't this so pretty? It does remind me of an era gone by. I hope my sweet Betty loves this. My BBBFF. I don't know where she'd hang it though. She lives on the island and she the, her music room, the dolly, the dollywood painting we did. Oh my gosh, she loves it. Okay, so now I want the snow here to hang down like icicles. And then have it hang like a little off of there. 
and you have plenty of paint on there that you can just go along and just pull little pieces. I'm sorry I, I can't see you guys right now, but I'm going to go back and answer every one of your comments and questions. I love that you're here. <laughs> I can when I'm using my tablet, but it has that weird kind of like, remember the old Chinese um, Godzilla movies where their mouths would move, but not with their words. And you can have these hang all the way down if you want. A couple. Aren't these cute? So how did I have this? Oh, this comes over here. So there's, I think my brush is getting too dry because it's getting thick. I want it to be thick and, and um, not transparent, but at the same time, okay, let's hang some off of here. Looks like there's little icicles here. And then it goes up right here. So it looks like it just, because it's so steep, it wouldn't have a whole lot, but it would have some, right? So it would be like kind of stacked and piled. I told you the church would be the hardest part. Not in real life, though. That's our sanctuary. Okay, let's see. I have so many replays to go back and watch, you guys. I've been working um, nine and a half and 12 hour days. Like I said earlier, I was sick for like four days. And oh my gosh, like I have all these paintings in my heart to paint. But um, I've got to play catch up with my schedule. Everybody that I put off and rescheduled. Ooh, I want this to be kind of bumpy and coming off of the hole in front of, hanging in front of the, the whole roof line. I didn't do my first one like that, but you can do your snow any way you want. And then I know there's a little peeking through right here. Did I do enough? And then so it would be, you'd have your little icicles here. And it would be piled here. I may have made the pink a little too light, but that's okay. Because you can go back and add some gray behind your snow. I'll show you how to do that. Super easy. And then this is the little side. So it would just have like a little wiggly line of snow and we'll put a couple of icicles it's not so pretty you know I didn't put snow on the porch before but I I don't know I may not do it this time either okay so now I'm going to take my brush and I like there's a look at my hands there's a little um roll that you do with your brush and you lay it flat and if you just roll it along here it's going to Give you some pretty snow. You can just wash that in like that. A lot of this too, you can always go back and um, put some gray behind it, which I'll do. I do a lot of back and forth painting. Do you guys do that? That's a little dark. I think I'm going to lighten it up a little bit. There we go. I just added some water to my brush. Okay, now I want to roll this. You don't want to see the perfect lines of the church. You want to see the snow. Where's my water? Oh. We are almost to the funnest part. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry a little bit but I am going to go in and put some of the gray to um, sh drop shadow the snow a little bit I just need that white to be a little oh that was too wet okay 
I just need the white to be a little bit drier first. So I think I'm gonna take, this is fun. I think I'm gonna take my white, and I don't know if you can see it in the painting, but there is a cross right here. I can no longer see the drawing, so I'm just gonna bake it in there. Maybe take some silver behind it. Just so it kind of pops. And this is silver. I'm not doing a drop shadow, I'm just trying to make it so you can see the actual cross at the top. Now you guys, this is the fun part. My kids love to do this. I'm gonna take, here's where my white is. I'm gonna take my water and I'm gonna go one, two, three. And do you see how watery that is? I'm gonna pull my white into it. It has to be super watery, maybe not that watery, but it has to be super watery in order to splatter paint. So it's pretty, that might not be water, I might have made it too thick, but I'm, you can see, I hope, how watery it is. And then I take my fist, like this, and I take the end of my brush, and I just start to splatter some snow. And this is kind of a way you can do it um, controlled. So the kids don't have it in everywhere or the adults because they tend to take their brush and do this and when they do it just goes behind them and everywhere else and you want it to be on your trees and in front of your church so I'm just putting some snow here let me scoot this up okay oh I guess I am gonna go the whole hour okay so do you guys think that's enough snow? I mostly want it in the sky. Okay. So, oh my goodness. Miss Michelle? Hold on a second, you guys. I need to get something I forgot to put on the table. I can probably do it with paint, but I don't want any more paint on this. Hmm. Let me see what I can do. Okay. All my colors are dry except for my white, which is what I want. So I'm gonna grab the gray. We've got five more minutes. I actually did an hour. I think it's because it's an adult painting and I'm doing it upside down, which is awesome. Okay, I'm going to add some more of those gray shadows in there, and I'm going to go, is my brush too wet? Okay, I'm going to go next to the snow. I'm going to go kind of half on the snow and, cap, and half into the pink to kind of give it a little, just a little bit of a shadow. And I'm just going to kind of go around all the, the snow that's against the church. Whoops. just because it would have shadows under there, right? Okay. Okay. There's your little, now does it pop out a little more? The snow, and then I run it kind of against the house. Not too much, but I can always water, go back and water that down a little bit. Clean my brush and just spread it. Just so you have little shadows of the snow. Do you guys like it? Okay, so there's that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is what you can't see on, maybe you can see it on camera, but this whole tree and then the snow on the church and the snow right here in the path has glitter on it. 
So, the way I do my glitter, I'm gonna get some fresh white. I like wet white. Okay, so I really want that glitter to be pretty, and I want this to look like a Hallmark um, Christmas card. So I'm just gonna take and roll my whites in certain spots like this, make it nice and kind of thick. And I want it to go straight to that path to church. I want it to go straight to that path to church. That's where God lives. I love Jesus, so I want that path to be lit up. Let's go ahead and put it in here. And you'll see why in a second. Just light that up. I need wet snow here. I'm basically just kind of blobbing some white on where I had the snow because I need to re-wet it. Definitely here too. Definitely, definitely. So I'm not being as careful as I was when I first put it on. Um, I just need it to be wet. I love wet on wet paintings. That's probably an oil painter's term, but um, it just blends better and it's gonna work because I want I need it wet for the glitter. So I want I'm just putting the white where I want that pretty lovely pink glitter. It just lights up this pretty 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 painting. I hope you guys have the confidence that gave you the confidence to paint this. It's not anywhere near as hard as it may look. It's just a fun, beautiful painting and easy to teach. The hardest part of the whole thing is right there. So my brush is a little wet, but I do wanna put, I wanna loosely put that white back on my tree. And then watch this, guys, this is my favorite part. We're done with the paint. I'm just gonna put two fingers in there, if I can fit my little fat fingers in there. And I'm gonna go up that path. I don't want a lot, I just want, cause I don't want it to overpower. But, I'm just gonna sprinkle it over. Shoot, my husband's here, he does not like glitter. But this is that light pink, pretty glitter. And it's funny that I used the light pink because it's all I had at home. Um, at the studio I have the iridescent white. And then I want to sprinkle it all over this, this tree. Because the church and this tree are the star of the show. Right? Oh my goodness. Can you guys see the sparkle on camera? It's pretty, and it's not that, you know, that big, gaudy glitter. It's very soft. Okay, let's see this. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did it upside down. I miss you guys. I wish I could have, like, read your comments. Now I'm just going to tip it and tap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's pretty. Okay, let's see if I can find you guys again. Hi. Are you there? Let me see. Hi, everybody. Hi, Deb. Who's on there? Trisha Hodge. Hi, Trisha. Oh, my goodness. Who? Hi, everybody. Hi, Linda. Oh, my goodness. So, here it is. Let me see if you can see. Let me see if I can pull back. Can you guys see? Wait a minute, maybe if I get close, can you see the glitter? Can you see the glitter on the church? Can you see the cross? I hope you guys love it. I hope you guys love it. I hope you give it a try. I cannot wait until you see it. Okay, I'm seeing it right side up. I don't know. I think the white tree might be really white, but it, I like it. 
That one's really white too. I like it. Oh, I'm seeing the love, you guys. Thanks for the hearts. I love you guys. And Miss Betty, if you're watching this, this is for you. And then Deb, if you want to um, let me know, um, I'm going to paint this in a card so I can send it to whoever you want to bless. Oh, sorry. I'm going to hide. I'm so sensitive. Jeez, Louisa. Okay, so you guys. Oh, I don't even know how to do this where we can sit. I'm literally against a wall. Oh, sorry. So anyway, I love you guys so much. As soon as our camp is over, which is 2 o'clock CST, I'm going to come back and I'm going to read and answer all of your, um, your, um, sorry, your messages. God bless you. And um, if you're fighting uh, breast cancer right now, know that we're all reading for you. We're praying for you. And um, you're in our thoughts and prayers every day, okay? I love you, and I'm sorry I didn't mean to get emotional. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye.